Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Road to Ranked Roulette series. We kicked off this brand new series last week on the channel and it has been a lot of fun. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Thank you so much before we get into anything to each and every one of you for all of the support, the comments, the views, just getting involved and especially all of the nominations that we've had for Pokemon for the team last week and also for the team this week. I literally was going through the list of all the nominated Pokemon for this week and literally smiling ear to ear just looking through and thinking I want that Pokemon, I hope this Pokemon comes out. I really like all of the selections that we've had this week have been amazing so I'm having a lot of fun with this series but hopefully the main thing is that you guys are enjoying it and having a lot of fun with it as well. It is completely different to what we normally do it's not serious we're here to have fun choose some really random Pokemon and hopefully showcase them and maybe find some hidden gems and uh, you never know we might get some along the way this week but getting into this week we need to select that brand new team I did ask you guys what you prefer two week cycle with a team or a one week cycle it came back pretty anonymous that you wanted a one week cycle so we're gonna be doing a brand new team while we're doing this series every single week so I will be putting up a new poll on the YouTube channel probably Tuesday Wednesday time I will let you know to go and start nominating for next week's Pokemon selection so without further ado though let's get into the fun animations to kick us off today and see what the roulette throws out for our brand new six Pokemon team going into this week so we'll be right back and we'll hit that roulette wheel right now <laughs> We've got an incredible team going into this week. We've got Tapu Bulu, Chimeko. I don't think I've ever played Chimeko, ever. I don't even think I've caught one in game. Well, I might have caught one in game at some point, but I don't think I've ever played it. It's a very cool Pokemon. It's got some really cool text that we can use, but it's going to be exciting to play it. We've got Articuno. We've got Necrozma, the original Necrozma as well. Tyranitar. As you well know, for all of you guys out there that do know me, Tyranitar is probably my favourite Pokemon. I say this about a lot of Pokemon, but really Tyranitar is definitely, hands down, my favourite Pokemon. If you had to ask me, that would be my answer every single time. So we've got the Tyranitar, we've got Sylveon as well, another really favourite Pokemon of mine. So, I've put a team together with the Pokemon. You can see the the, uh, the nominations from our... our lovely viewers on the screen in front of you right now. So we have the Tapu Bulu from Majaru. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that username, but that's, that's yes, Majaru with Tapu Bulu. We had uh, Chimeko from Hamid Lee. We had Will Hopper getting another selection two weeks in a row, Will. But he's pulling out the Sylveon this week from the wheel. We've got Articuno from Luciano, so that's a really cool suggestion. And uh, Necrozma from Zed Hoffman, another one that's had another selection this week. So, And then Tyranitar from Jungle Hunter as well. So you can see all of those on your screen. Big shout out to everyone that has nominated. And sorry to everyone that didn't get their selection coming up. But we do have three buttons that we can activate this week. Remember, we've got our Legend Maker, we've got our Randomizer, and we've got our Random Switch Up button that we can activate come Wednesday if we want to change things up with the team. So, there is three more chances for you guys who have nominated Pokemon to get those Pokemon going in the rest of this week. So, we will get to Wednesday. We will definitely activate the buttons this week, but hopefully, we kick off with a good start this week. So, this is a team. As you can see on the screen in front of you, as always, the raw paste, poker paste, is down in the description below. If you'd like to check it out, try it out. I'm going to say the Articuno spread is probably one of my favorite ones, and I'm really hoping we can get it going because that will be a lot of fun and really memey if we can get it going this week. Check it out. I'll not spoil anything just yet. And uh, I guess without further ado, Let's crank some music on and let's get into today's episode. So I'm really looking forward to it. We've got the Chimeco, the Sylveon, we've got the Articuno, the Necrozma, 
the Tyranitar and Tapu Bulu. So, let's select some music. Uh, what are we going to go with? Let's go with League Title Defense to kick us off today. And hopefully it doesn't take too long to find a first opponent. I'm really nasally as well. I'm really sorry if it's coming across like bad on the audio, my voice in general. Um, but my hair fever this weekend has been absolutely brutal. Um, I t we took Thea to the beach today, which was the first time she's ever been to the beach. We've had an amazing day. It's been so sunny and nice as well. And um, I think she liked it. She slept for most of the time. We've got one of these weird carrier things that you can put her in. She was like snuggled up in a little ball on my front. And yeah, we went to the beach. It was nice. We had ice cream. So what... what what better what better way to spend a Sunday afternoon? I I don't know. But we've got Joker up as our first opponent. So let's get into team preview and let's see what we're going up against here. Okay, so we've got Joker. He's playing a team of Requaza, Incineroar, Garchomp. Good old Garchomp. Haven't seen you for a while, my old friend. Uh, Groudon, Tapu Lele, and Aerodactyl. And anyone out there that's putting suggestions in this week, Garchomp would be a great nomination going into next week's team if it does come out. <laughs> but that's just one of mine. That may be a pick that I would throw in. Um, okay, so we've got definitely Tailwind as the primary speed control source on uh, my opponent's team. You've got the Aerodactyl there providing that for the team. Outside of that, they're really lacking any sort of speed control. Um, so Trick Room could be very good for us, for sure. Um, and if they do bring the Tapu Lele for the Psychic Train, it does help us out a bit against the uh, the Rayquaza with his extreme speeds. Uh, we've got to watch out for the Incineroar, though. That is a little bit awkward to deal with. Uh, I am going to bring Chimeco up top. Um, I'll bring Chimeco and... Hmm. Do we go Sylvian? Or do we keep Sylvian for late game? Maybe Sylvian late game. We could go Necrozma. It's just then we leave ourselves a little bit weak to Incineroar. I'm going to bring Tito up top. I'm going to bring Sylvian in the back. And then I'm going to throw Necrozma. I'll probably bench Articuno and Tapu Bulu here. Yeah, we'll lock in with those. We'll get into this first one today. Hopefully... We have, uh, I just feel like Articuno has a really tough time here. You've got the Groudon, you've got the Incineroar, and then you've got the Aerodactyl. It all give it a really tough time. So I think when we're playing uh, Articuno and we, we're trying to get that moveset specifically off, I think we need the right conditions. We need the right team to play it against. Now, I do feel like the team does have a few holes in it. Uh, we are kind of weak to a lot of the big threats in this format, but we'll see if we can get around them. We're going to see Garchomp. I'm going to see Aerodactyl come out for my opponent. So we've got a great opportunity here to get our, our Trick Room up with Chimeco because we do have Levitate um, on Chimeco. So we can get around the Garchomp's big ground type attacks, but problem is... Um, Tito's not in the best of places right now. Um, i tell you what we'll do. We'll see Trick Room with Chimeco. Uh, and we'll just... Do we Mega Evolve just yet? Probably not. Um, I don't really want to give the Garchomp in Core uh, a big advantage here. It's just I kind of worry about a Tectonic Rage coming up from the Garchomp. But maybe... Maybe we don't see that. Um, okay. Can we bring in the Necrozma? I'm going to bring in the Necrozma right now. I feel like the Necrozma will do a better job at this point um, than Tito. So we'll see. We'll get both of our Psychic types on the field. We're going to see just an Earthquake come out. Okay. Chimeco obviously has that Levitate ability. Can get around that. I wonder what the Aerodactyl is going to do. It's Scarf Garchomp as well, which is interesting. So Necrozma taking that pretty comfortably. Tailwind. Boom. Perfect. Chimeco. And the thing is with Chimeco as well, so I've kind of went down a similar route to how we'd run uh, Psychinium Z Bronzong with the Z Trick Room and then the Hypnosis. So we can start putting things to sleep. Sleepy time. Um, okay. So that's good. So we can start putting things to sleep, which is good because we get that accuracy boost with the, the Z Trick Room. Um, yeah, let's put the Garchomp to sleep. Should we just get a Calm Mind up while we can with Necrozma? I feel like it's probably a good, good thing to do right now. Aerodactyl's likely got Protect. We know the Garchomp hasn't because it went, bef went before the Aerodactyl. So definitely a Scarf there. 
uh, locked into that earthquake so we can definitely get a hypnosis off into that slot for sure um, stop those earthquakes coming out and the Aerodactyl is not really threatening too much it could have Z move um, it could be a bit problematic for Necrozma but I think we'll be alright I think we'll be alright so there's our first hypnosis Chimeco putting in all the work already what a great suggestion as well it was like it would be one of those Pokemon that I would totally just not think of because it's just one of those Pokemon sadly that I just don't have much experience with in playing in the games but then I look at it and think so cute, it's so cute. I need, I need it. <laughs> uh, okay, we're gonna see a rock slide come out from the Aerodactyl. We do get the car mined up with uh, the Crossma, so that's good. Um, we can double into the Aerodactyl here, or we could just put the Aerodactyl to sleep and I guess go for a photon geyser into the Garchomp here. Um, I think an earthquake or probably just proc a berry on Necrozma. That would be my best guess. Chimeco being really disruptive here. Oh, gotcha, I'm going to switch out, so whatever comes in. Oh, it's Groudon. Photon Geyser. Mm, I don't mind this, really. I mean, we get some nice damage off onto it, and then the next turn, it is going to be susceptible to another Hypnosis. Um, Aerodactyl might protect here, who knows. This let line activating now from that Groudon, so we're going to have the sun up. Hypnosis, there we go. Chimeco on point. Aerodactyl gonna have a snooze. Okay, so Aerodactyl falling asleep. Photon Geyser coming out. Wow, that does so much damage. That does so much damage. That's crazy. Okay, um, I guess we'll chip the Aerodactyl with a Psychic, and um, we'll go for another Photon Geyser into the Groudon. Because the Cosma should underspeed. Like this team, like my opponent's team, like we've said, it is it is generically a tailwind team. So I would imagine most things on the team are quite fast, offensive. From that damage on the Groudon as well, you can kind of tell that it's probably not the the bulkiest. So it's not really going to be the slowest, the slowest thing here. Uh, okay, so Aerodactyl still fast asleep. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Chimeco getting that Psychic off, there we go, I did go for the Protect there, tried to, and uh, Photon guys are going to get rid of the Groudon, so that's one big, big, big problem out of the way, um, which is nice, and I wonder if it'll be the Rayquaza that comes in as the last Pokemon, that Tailwind pitters out, so that's fine, and we've got two more, two more turns of Trick Room, yeah, I think, if my math is correct. Who knows, it is Rayquaza. Okay, I don't mind this at all, because we've got Sylveon in the back. And we're running Scarfed Sylveon, so that's, that's so good for us. Um, I'll try and get the trip, the Hypnosis off into the Rayquaza, um, and I'm just gonna Photon Geyser the Aerodactyl. If it stays asleep, we get the KO there, which is super nice. Um, if the Rayquaza doesn't protect, though, uh, and it's it's definitely going to nap time. So let's see if we can get this going. This would be good if we can get a win today. I'm not going to hold out just yet. I feel like we were in so many good positions last week with the team, and then it just fell apart at the last minute. And then we're like, how did we lose that? We were so we were so far ahead, and then everything just flipped on its head. So I don't want to get too far ahead of myself just yet. We want to take one step at a time with stuff like this. So. Um, yeah, I don't wanna, don't wanna jump the gun. So we're gonna mega evolve. Okay. I guess the Garchomp's the one thing that's a little bit awkward to deal with. Um, so we do need to keep speed control if we can. Uh, okay. There's extreme speed coming out. It is into Chimeco. Ooh, it does a lot of damage. It is life orb ray, but we do get the hypnosis onto it. We're not going to see a protect this time come out from the Aerodactyl, so we should be able to pick up the knockout there with the Photon Geyser. And our Trick Room, if it does end this turn, I'm not sure if it does, it might do. Um, then we're in a great position to get another Trick Room up because the Requires is definitely, yeah, the Requires is definitely going to have a turn of sleep now. The Garchomp comes in. 
and it is asleep so even if it wakes up it probably wants to lock into earthquake um, but it does mean that we probably are going to get a uh, trick room up once more. So Chimeco, I mean, just absolutely unbelievable work this game. Uh, we will go for a Photon Geyser into the Rayquaza. The Rayquaza. Yeah, that's the one thing I really want to get rid of. Like Life Orbits, we've got no Intimidate in the team. So being able to just remove that is going to be be quite nice because the Garchomp I feel is a lot more manageable uh, both Pokemon sleep now my opponent's side of the field so that's fine um, and like I say now we get the trick room up we're going to be able to kind of probably lock this one up pretty easily we do see uh, the trick room set up here um, and the Rayquaza now uh, the only thing is yeah we need to get we need to concentrate down on this Ray because uh, if Sylveon comes in it is scarfed, but it will be slower than the Garchomp because the Garchomp is scarfed. So um, I'm going to try and target down the Ray. Now the Ray could wake up now and go for a Protect. But my opponent just forfeits. So we are off to a victory for our first one this week, which is amazing news for us, guys. So record right now, wins one, losses zero. Here we go. Can we carry it on this week? Chimeco, <laughs> put in so much work, so much work, ridiculous. So what a Pokemon! It's just the ge the gem. I, we were talking about it before we came into today's episode. We'll find some hidden gems. We were talking about it all last week. Have we found a hidden gem in Chimeco? Who knows? Maybe we'll see. It is one game, so we can't get too carried away with ourselves. Uh, all right, music, 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 man. Uh, let's go with Elite Four. Why not? And hopefully, like I was saying before. It doesn't take too long to find the next opponent and we'll get into the next one. But I can tell you more about the beach story. So yes, we took Thea down. She's like six weeks six weeks old now, which is crazy to think six weeks ago was when she was born. Um, but yeah, things are going really well. Uh, she's growing. I'll have to get her on. I will have to get her on and bring her on for an episode. I'm probably more likely to do it for a stream, but I will try and get her on for at least one of these videos. And uh, she can help me button mash for one episode. How cute would that be? Um, so, yeah, so, yeah, things are going well. Uh, I'm actually catching up on sleep now, which is good. So hopefully stream schedule will be able to do that. I'll be able to get caught up on all of the different bits and bobs that I've got on the pipeline and get the, that content out. Um, and things feeling a bit more normal now at home um, after starting a new job and then, having Thea and just adjusting to all that. It's been pretty crazy, but I'm pleased that we've kept content going on the channel. I mean, that's the big thing for me. I did. I was so worried about like just dropping content on the channel because it's something that I've been doing for a long time and I know priorities do shift, especially when you've got like a kid, but at the same time, this is something that I do love doing and I don't want to let slip. So just even minimally just putting out content every day, Monday to Friday is just something I really do want to try and keep doing and uh, obviously when things do settle down we get back into that nice rhythm that we were before I'll be able to do other content I'll be able to do streaming and stuff like that and really get back into things hopefully in time for Sword and Shield to come out as well because uh, that's not too long away is it but here's me chatting away and we can't find an opponent so I'm gonna have to jump back in but I tell you what we'll do guys I'll cut right to it when we find our next opponent so we'll be right back and we've got our next opponent of the episode and what better opponent to have with us today than our good friend Johnny Hacks this is incredible I don't think we've had Johnny on the series so this is a pleasure Johnny good luck my friend we're gonna hop over to team preview and uh, hopefully this is a good one I mean, Johnny always has great teams so this is gonna be a very good match so let's get into it okay Johnny running a solid team of Xerneas Groudon, Salamence, Alolan Persian, Smeagol and Amoongus so we've got the Xerneas Groudon combination we know how strong that is Xerneas setting up that Geomancy the Groudon there just protecting it from those steel types that threaten it so hard we've got the speed control from the Salamence there it's gonna have Tailwind Intimidate as well and then you've got that Alolan Persian which gives us a few issues you know you've got to really kind of 
play around that because it's got fake out, it's got the parting shot that can be a bit awkward, uh, and then the two support Pokemon there, you've got the Smeagol with the fast fake out as well. Follow me redirection there, and then the other redirection user with the Amoongus there, so lots of support around that Xerneas. So that's the big key Pokemon here that we need to try and get rid of. Um, and how are we going to do it? That's the big question. Um, okay. Let us go, Chimeco, because I think Tailwind, a tr Trick Room is going to be quite useful for us. I'm going to lead with Sylveon here. Um, I think we will bring uh, Necrozma for sure, and mm, Tapu Bulu. Tapu Bulu. <sighs> I feel like this one's going to be a little bit tough. A little bit tough. <laughs> but can Chimeco do some work? Once again. Let's see. Johnny there. All all kit out in that nice coma or armor, gear, whatever we want to call it. Very good. We're gonna see lovely Sylvian. Sylvian, one of the best shiny Pokemon as well, in my opinion. I don't know what you guys think, but I, I always I always love Sylvian. I think it's such a cool looking Pokemon. Um, okay. So Hmm. Groudon. And a moon. What are we going to see this Chimek? Uh, this Amoongus do. Is it going to protect? Uh, we can't really hit the Groudon too hard with anything. Um, it could be Eruption Groudon as well, which could be a little bit awkward for us. Um, but we and if we get the Trick Room up right now, it's not it's not ideal. So we could Z-Move. Z-Move the Amoongus. And um, hmm. We're just not going to be able to do... Like, we've got Psy Shock on Sylveon, but without the specs, I don't think we're going to be able to pick up the knockout onto the Amoongus. Um, I really want to keep Sylveon around for later as well, if I can. If I can help it. Um, I might just keep keep it in and just, and just Hyper Voice. Just try and get some damage off. Sylveon shouldn't go down this turn, but, like, just chipping that Groudon might be useful chip in the Amoongus as well in case it is sashed might be useful um, the Groudon going for a fire punch are we going to take it? that's the question yeah Chimeco is a beast and there we go we're going to get the Z move off and we're going to get rid of that Amoongus we lose our speed control which isn't ideal at all I mean Sylvian gets through this turn pretty unscathed so that's that's nice uh, Chimeco I'm gonna get through this turn as well, so we're we're still up in numbers, but it's still gonna be really tough to kind of. Oh wow, we actually don't take the Amoongus down and Proxa Berry. Oh, Jamaica, you're so weak. And there's a spore. <laughs> oh, I think it's done already. I think it's done already. The Amoongus is too bulky. I would. Oh, I really would have thought. I really would have thought that we would be able to take that. Um. Okay. Protect you, Meko, and hmm. I guess we can try and, and, and get Sylvian wake up and just hyper voice again. Um, we've got a guaranteed turn of sleep here. We could have maybe used this. Uh, so the Amoongus is going to withdraw now. Maybe see Xerneas. Yeah, hit the field. Yep. Come on, we need Sylvian to wake up. Hmm. Let's see where the Groudon goes though. Is it going Precipice Blades or is it going Fire Punch? It probably targets down the Sylvian just to be safe, I think. Yeah. Oh, we could have went for a Trick Room there. Wow. Sylvian going down. Down and down. Uh, okay. Necrozma. Let's bring this bad boy in. I don't think we've really got the resources to kind of do, do things now. I really just don't I don't think we're gonna get a trick room up um, and we can go for a calm mind with Necrozma but we're gonna see a Geomancy probably a fire punch into the Chimeco it's gonna be quite easy for for Johnny now to close this one up I feel oh we're just going to, we're just gonna see a dazzling gleam we're not even gonna see the um, the Geomancy here it doesn't probably need to go for it to be honest fire punch coming out well let's just proc a berry hopefully it will yeah, okay. And we'll get a Calm Mind up, which, I don't know, might, I don't think it puts us really in any better position, especially with Tapu Bulu coming in, who's not really going to want to take a Fire Punch. 
Um, but you never know. You never know what we can do. If for some uh, some way we can get a wood hammer onto the Xerneas. If we can take a fire punch from the ground on. It's a big ask, mind. It's a big, big, big old ask. And then we can get a wood hammer, which should be enough to get the Xerneas. Uh, Earth power it now should be enough plus one to get the ground on. So we'll see, we'll see. Um, but it's about Bulu if it can live, because you've got to hope that the Xerneas goes for Moonblast maybe into the Necrozma, and then a Fire Punch into the Bulu from the ground on. So if Bulu can survive, get the Wood Hammer into the Xerneas, which might be enough to pick up the Knockout, maybe. Who knows? We're not going to see that though. Uh, fire Punch, where are you going this time? Oh, into the Necrozma again. Oh, we don't. We don't take it. No, no, it's done. I think it was pretty much over after the Amoongus survival. If we get the Amoongus, I think the game's a little bit different going forward. Uh, that spore onto the Sylvian didn't help. But at the same time, I just think <laughs> maybe, maybe there was just, we just had a little bit too much. And this is a perfect game. Like, looking back now, this is a perfect game where we should have brought... We should have brought Articuno and tried the, the, the gimmicky set. We should have tried the gimmicky set. Oh, and Johnny. Johnny is just too nice. Sending me a message already saying didn't know what to do. But it's fine, Johnny. You've got a solid, lovely team there. There's no need to apologize. As I say, it's a pleasure having you on the channel. Very good game, my friend. And a lovely way for us to end up today. Now, we're going to be on a record of one win, one loss. We've got some things to think about going forward. Um, but I'm going to take this all as a positive way to kick off this week. Um, you know, looking at this team, we need to refigure out how we're going to lead and, and position ourselves against it. At least we know now Chimeco <laughs> with a Z move, even after a hyper voice chip from Sylvian, is not enough to pick up the Amoongus. So we can't go down that route. So we've got to look at different options there, get around it. Like I say, I think the Articuno might have been a nice option there. Not so much to try the memes, but you know, we could have went Tailwind instead of the Trick Room. Um, because we will be faster than the ground on in most cases unless it's like timid max and even then we've still got the sash to kind of rely on a little bit there so i think we've got different options and i think that's what we need to look at but as i say it's a success i'm really excited to get into the rest of the week we're going to be sticking with this team tomorrow obviously we can't activate our buttons until wednesday so got a little way to go until we can activate any of those but we might bring in one of the another legend and maybe activate that legend maker but let me know what you guys which button you'd like to see would you like to see the legend maker button activated on wednesday the switch up or just the random switch up activated to mix things up or would you like to see the team just continue either way anyway whatever you would like we will do guys but thank you so much for tuning in have a great rest of your day and i will catch you for the next one tomorrow so until then take care and bye bye